Exhausted and weary, my mind not but dreary, I suffered and perforate thirst. There I lay coiled and writhing, embroiled in conflict what seemed like the worst. For deep in this peril my soul felt most sterile, yet this simply could not compare to the staggering reeling of hunger, a feeling that burdens more than I can bear. Then uninterrupted I sluggishly crept to the chest of encapsulate flesh. Delighted I gazed as I felt <gasps> quite amazed that the ham most of all was still fresh. What better to please me and put me at ease than a flavorful morsel of swine? The pain brought to ending, the gaiety transcending the guttural sorrow once mine. I reached out before me, expecting much glory when once my hand stole up the meat. But as I drew closer, a coldness enclosed, and I was not permitted retreat. The fear was imposing, as all was enclosing, and darkness was nimble to spread. And voices of horror gave instance before me of deep, unmistakable dread. The grip then relaxing, I felt it less taxing, and broke away fast as I could. The coldness had vanished, the voices were banished. Amazed and in terror I stood. His feeling was vexing, the thought was perplexing. I knew not what should be done first, for I durst not believe, and could never conceive, that the ham that I craved had been cursed. Yet when I recall all the dread most of all that defines the poor sort that I am, I can think of no reason no more out of season than faulting that dastardly ham. My blood hot to boiling from years of my toiling, now realizing how I've been toyed. A pledge to my aid with this serrated blade, may this metal some meat be destroyed! And I drove through the dark with a fiery spark, the metal I bore in my hands. I pierced through the heart, and I tore it apart. I feasted upon all the strands, a flurry of thunder, and tearing asunder, no stopping for rest of a breath. I will not be denied the spirit of my pride and be cast out awaiting my death. Exhausted and weary, my mind naught but dreary, yet now, with my senses anew, I felt no more sorrow, nor reason tomorrow to claim of the sadness I knew. My joy never faltered, with the enemy slaughtered, and fullness to exile's all woes. But my jig was cut short, as I feared to report, of a chill from my top to my toes.